excited today to show you guys what I have been doing in my um, actual journaling Bible as we work through 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude, and the first 30 days were designated for Gratitude Documented. So I'm going to show you those um, last two weeks of Gratitude Documented, and um, if you will check out in the description below, I also have a video that shows you the flip through in my um, devotional journal where I've been working through, and I show you the pages that I did, products that I used. So if you want any ideas as we continue through the journal check out that video and so for this one though we are going to just be looking at um, what I did in my Bible so um, as you can see I did have another video that showed you the first two weeks so we're just going to go through the last two weeks and I tab each entry on the side and um, so I'm going to uh, show you those little entries that I have done we did one through 14 before so we're going to go ahead and go to 15 and um, if you'll bear with me because I have to look for the numbers here in my Bible and so it is the same sort of thing that I did before. I like to keep a pop of color on the page. And then I just added little elements that came from the kit. This washi was from last year's kit. Um, and then these little work buddies were from the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. So if you haven't worked through Gratitude Documented, um, don't think that it's too late just because now we're in December and Advent. You know, go back when you finish Advent and go through the prompts because they are great reminders. Um, but this little um, page starter right here on the bottom of color is actually just a printable sticker that I printed on the Avery labels from my Etsy shop. And so I'll leave a link down below also to my Etsy shop if you're curious. I have lots of designs and those are a lot of the printables that I used um, for these backgrounds. So day uh, 15 was, oops, I'm on day six, aren't I? I just realized that. Day 15 was about trust, and so same thing. I used one of the little page starters there um, and some washi, the little work fetties, and um, that's how I was able to do my entries in less than about five minutes um, each day because I am using um, these little printable stickers. Then I have lots of designs in my Etsy shop that coordinate with um, the devotional journal. So check those out if you're interested. I do appreciate all your guys' support and the love that you guys have given my shop um, so, far, so far. So let me go and find 16. Um, I apologize because once you get all your pages tabbed, sometimes those little numbers like to hide from you. And so you probably are seeing it and I'm just like totally skipping over it. Um, 15, there it was. <laughs> we were actually just on it, weren't we? Okay, 16 was about vision. And again, I used one of the little printable stickers. These um, little title starters that you see here also are um, came in the kit. So that would be day 16 where we talked about um, the vision, having the vision of God and the vision to see his blessings all around us. And then we're going to flip over um, to 17. I apologize that I do not have these marked ahead of time. That would have really helped us out, huh? But here is 17 where we talked about um, sacrifice. I love these little leaf die cuts also that came in the kit. I thought that was a lot of fun to add a little bit of a, um, a pop of color as well. And then day 18, we talked about fellowship. Um, I loved the leaf washi that came with it and just adding a little bit of that color in there. Um, that was a lot of fun to use um, because I don't know. I just love using the washi each year, and I know that I'll be able to go back and use that washi again next year because I love it so much. Then day 19, as you can see, I started getting a lot of the other days on the pages, but that's okay. We just divided it, and we talked about um, authenticity, and I loved using some of my little chalk, uh, chalk arts that are in the shop, and that really just, I thought it was really cute using the little um, geometrics there. That was a lot of fun to use. Then day 20, we talked about senses. Probably one of my favorite days was senses because we talked about the little things, those senses that if we did not have, how this world would be so bland to us and that it's those senses that give us the, the ability to perceive and to take in our, our daily life. So I really loved um, what the devotional had to say and the scripture had to say for that day. And so now let's go on over to um, day 21. Um, 
if you like doing the daily things like this, I love it because I can go back and reference with the titles and the tabs. So it's a lot of fun to do this, um, to be able to pull it up. But here was day 21 where we talked about life. Um, and so another one of those fun little, this was like a charcoal um, texture for that page on life. And then we're gonna flip back over because I think I had just seen um, day 22. Yes, so we talked about his provision, and I loved layering my little leaves there. That was a lot of fun to use. Those little die cuts that came in the kit were a lot of fun. Um, they've been putting a lot of fun stuff in the kits here lately, and I just love them. Here was day 23. We talked about Thanksgiving, um, thanking God for our daily provision. He knows exactly what we need and provides it. Day 24 was about new life fresh growth, small beginnings, and I loved that day as well. Then day 25, we go on to talk about mercy. And I put in here, thank you that you are not a punisher, but you love me. Um, mercy is always there. It's not an excuse to do things, but it's always there when we need it and we fall short. And um, so thank the Lord for mercy. Again, some of those geometrics and the grace are the um, chalk arts that I used there on that page. Um, day 25. So now let's go on to um, day 26. We talk about celebrations. And um, again, these leaf little stickers are in the free printable bonus from Day Spring when you buy the kit. I love those little stickers. I use the big grace and gratitude logo that came with the kit, and I just love that one. Or that one actually, I think, is with the download as well. Thank you to Dayspring for doing those little download bonuses because you get so much more with the kit that you can print as many times as you want. Then day 27, we're talking about endurance, rejoicing in the Lord. The energy in Him will never tire and it will keep you going. You know, you have those days where you think, how am I still going um, or situations? And it's because of His strength um, that really gives us that endurance to keep on pressing forward. Um, you know, where would we be without it, honestly? Okay. Maybe I am just totally skipping over day 28 here. There we go. We're talking about music, praising the Lord. Sing, play, dance, praise his name. Give me strength, Lord, to praise you every day, no matter what the day may bring. Um, I loved that day. What a great reminder. And then day 29 is about love. As you can see, some of my pages like to stick together um, when I use the little uh, glue. And then we have day 29, here we go, talking about his love. Thank you for loving me with the greatest love of all time. Um, there's just no comparison to it. And then let's finish out with day 30. A little bittersweet here to be showing you the last page. I just loved gratitude documented this year. And this one, I think, is my favorite page that I did. This was day 30, talking about purpose. And these little leaves came on one of the printables that have the um, little word fetty prompts on it from Illustrated Faith. And so I just cut the leaves out from the bottom of that page and added them as a border. And I love how that turned out. The Be Grateful flag pendant came in the kit, and that was beautiful. But um, I love this one. I think it was a great way to end um, Gratitude Documented, talking about purpose. And my prayer is that I want to fulfill my purpose so others will see your glory and they will turn to you. What, whatsoever you do, do it hardly as to the Lord and not unto men. It's not about us. It's all about Him. And let's not forget that as we are now moving into Advent. Um, I encourage you to continue working through grace and gratitude. If you're behind, it is the holiday season. I understand, and that is okay. Of course, like I said, give yourself mercy and grace, um, and just keep on going. If you're still working through, keep on going. If you haven't, then go ahead and start. I think it's a great, if you get this for a Christmas present this year, um, then just start you know, wherever the uh, Lord leads you to start in the book, there's no rhyme or reason to it. And I hope you'll join us for Advent. Stay tuned. I have more fun videos coming up showing you some things I am doing in my Bible, in the um, devotional journal for Advent. And I can't wait to show you. And I hope you guys just have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.